<laughs> pretty swanky. No, swanky. it really was, yeah. Oh, excellent. Well, you stayed at yeah. <laughs> It was St. Charles Hospital here. Yeah. It was really, yeah, yeah the, it was four sleep, so it was yeah. like a big bed and big bed. Nice. Yeah, it was really, yeah, it was a so, surprise. So, imagine that you're an Alzheimer's patient, and imagine, are you going to go to a, a place that's not your home, or a place you're not comfortable with, or an autistic kid going somewhere it's not gonna be no, very I could tell. Like honestly, I had a little anxiety going in because I didn't know what to expect. Once mm -hmm. I was there, they were lovely and it was very nice. But like, I wasn't sure. Like, I was like, "What pajamas work?" Because I knew they were gonna hook me up to. And there was it was a lot of sticky things. That's like, right. Yeah, like all over so, here and like all over my chest. Like I had the, uh, like the gummy stuff. It took yeah. a long day. It took like a week to get off. <laughs> so just you wear this, and then you wear this. This is my oh, ring. That's a, I this noticed measures that. temperature, heart rate, circadian rhythm. It quantifies your heart, it, like heart rate variability, your your breathing patterns, oh everything. God, that's so cool. So, I so that. instead I of wearing a bunch of sensors, you're wearing this. That's it. I just lost my Fitbit charger. I wear that. I have like a thin fit, Fitbit, mm. and I love it because it tracks my sleep patterns. Mm. And my set, like everything, and I love that. It yeah. tells me every night exactly how much I slept and when I woke up and all that. And Absolutely, I love that. Um, so, so what? So Fitbit is um is uh, like wearables. Like my watch, for example, mm -hmm. measures some things. But what this does is different. This is actually the same as your sleep study. Mm -hmm. It measures EEG, mm -hmm. your brain waves, and not only that, it actually hacks your brain waves. So we could say this has got machine learning inside of it, mm -hmm. like AI. And it looks at it and says, oh, you're do doing a little bit delta wave, let's spike it. And all of a sudden it goes, whoa, 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 whoa. and your memory is consolidating faster, you're healing, everything that your delta waves is like our healing energy, like a wave that happens And you can promote brain. that. We can, we can promote it, we can induce it. We can not only, we, don't, we, can, we can generate it, we can generate delta waves and then we can then hack them so they're bigger. Like we can hack the heck out of it. Like, <laughs> the world needs to know about this. This is amazing. Yeah. So that's just one part of mm -hmm. it. Optimizing sleep. So why is sleep important for an Alzheimer's patient? Because that's when memory consolidates. Absolutely. And that's when the healing happens. So if you just went. So we started with getting like optimizing your metabolism. Mm -hmm. We then use some devices to then heal the brain trauma because there's trauma. Like mm -hmm. this person's trauma, right? And then we optimize sleep is really important. Mm -hmm. And then, and then. We then optimize brain function. We do that through neurofeedback. So your neurofeedback is a wearable similar to this, mm -hmm. and you put it on, and then what happens is we, we can target a specific area of your brain. For example, a person who's got Alzheimer's, they have atrophied on prefrontal cortex. Mm -hmm. So the lady we met with last night, same thing happened with her with my father, oh, okay. which is like, because your prefrontal cortex is not working, you tend to be more aggressive with people. You tend to there's no filter. You get angry like that. Right. Uh, part, you're scared. And you're uh, because yeah. that part of the brain is actually what what keeps uh, from the sort of fight or flight part of the brain, mm -hmm. the reptilian part of the brain, takes over. So there's nothing here. Mm -hmm. Executive function. You can't really, you know, filter. filter it out. So now you're going into fight or flight. And somebody says something, you feel like you're being attacked. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, so we bulk it up. We actually can say, okay, we need to stimulate this part of the brain here. And we use neurofeedback to work out those muscles, right? So it's like we optimize metabolism, mm -hmm. so you feel good, and you know you're getting. We're, we're then actually healing the traumatic brain injury. You're sleeping better, and now we're working out that area that is atrophied working for the you. Up. Yeah, and okay. it's not like a memory game, like I'm doing a crossword puzzle. It's not like a, a computer thing where you go in and say, you know what, I'm going to do this quiz or whatever to exercise my brain. We're targeting specific parts of the brain. And how are you doing that? Okay, so we do that. You, you put a wearable on. Uh -huh. Now imagine yeah. you put this wearable on, okay, and we put a video on for you. Uh -huh. uh, what kind of movies do you like to watch? Like maybe Big Fat Greek Wedding, for example. Sure. Okay? So we can have an Alzheimer's patient. They like Big Fat Greek Wedding, right? So we've got a laptop. They put this on, right? And we turn the video on. So first we say, what area of the brain do we need to stimulate? So maybe just this part here, uh -huh. right? So this part here, this sensor, this EEG measures electrical impulses on all parts of the brain. And it's gonna say, okay, this part here, this patient has high beta. High beta is very fast frequency. Uh -huh. uh, oh, but that's what I have. but we, wanna, we wanna be able, yeah, and I can totally help you okay. with that. We, we wanna inhibit, we, we wanna inhibit that. We don't no, want that to that's happen. What I know, that's what I know. Uh, yeah, what happens is when you, when you have high beta here, it's like a, you know, a flash mob? Yeah. Okay, that's so neurons, 
like go on a flash mob. They're going like, we're so taking they, over. They told me it was equivalent of a rock concert. All exactly. Yeah. So you and have I, a rock concert here, right? That made me cry. Right? Yeah. So, they so, that, yeah. so the, the beta waves is a rock concert right here. Mm -hmm. And it's, 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 it's impacting your behavior, right? No, so, it's just impossible to, there's like, there was no up and down all, uh, like the whole night of my sleep pattern. Like, and that was like, okay. It, it was that all night long that, that. The, the waves, concerts yeah, have it. Yeah, okay. exactly. So what we could do is we could then, with the training, we say, okay, we want to inhibit that. We want to, you know, we want to no betas, mm -hmm. and we want high deltas, right? Which is what you're needing. Deep sleep is high delta. It's gotten better since I've done that, yeah. but yeah. So when you say that, so when someone so, watches the movie, do you check the reaction to the movie? Yeah, so okay. that's a good question. Right. So this device measures the frequencies here, and I say when when it's high beta, uh -huh. the, that Greek wedding picture is going to start shrinking. You're not going to be able to watch the video. It's going, and then your brain says, "Hold on a second, but I want to watch big uh, fat Greek wedding, uh -huh. right?" And your brain's going to start scrambling, and all of a sudden it says, "When it hits delta, it starts opening up, jackpot." Uh -huh. So now you're saying, "Oh," so oh. but you're not thinking about it. Your brain's just processing. Mm -hmm. It's not a conscious thing. Your 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 brain syncs with the technology. Okay. And your I didn't know if it was like a remote thing, like if it was no. left or whatever. Your brain is a remote. Okay. Okay. So all of a sudden, it's like the delta waves are happening, and now you're watching get big, fat, great wedding. But guess what happens? Your brain, your your flash mob guys are going to say, "We want a flash mob," and all of a sudden, the pictures start shrinking. You're going, "No, no, 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 no! I want the and and your brain starts. So you it's like it. it's like resistance training. See, oh it's going like I'm I'm, I'm delta. Oh, I'm I'm you know I'm, I'm so, beta. It's sort of inhibiting and rewarding. How long? Like, does that treatment go on? 20 minutes. A day or yeah. whatever? Uh, these, or these therapies what, that we what do. What area, like what state you're in? Yeah, th these therapies that we do are every day, we're going to engage with a patient every day for six months. And this is in tandem to diet? In tandem to a bunch of lifestyle interventions. Like, there's sub. We're going we're gonna to scan patients at the molecular level uh -huh. and we're going to give them therapies at that level to your genetic code, your metabolism your protein, everything about you, we're gonna uh -huh. quantify, we're gonna say, this is what's gonna optimize this person, because that's what a person who needs to heal needs. Right. They need the optimal recipe personalized just for you. I, yeah. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. And so, how would someone get this program? How, how, how would you, um, you know, someone who sees this, this video, how would they contact you at Brain Mechanics? Um, to get involved or what would be the next step for someone looking to try this out? Yeah, so so where we are now is we've got Therapies that are clinically proven like the device you have or this device mm -hmm. all of them are clinical proven We're assembling them in a, in a unique protocol, right? And we, we finished building it and now as an organization we're getting funding We're looking for funding to build our operations with sales infrastructure, right? So we're forecasting January 1st February uh, next year uh -huh. We're gonna be we'll have the funding we need to start treating people. But you still look, you would like some, it would help you to have a, some capital to move that along. Right? Absolutely, right. absolutely. I think this is like, seems like, a, so, makes so much sense to me that mm. this could be happening because um, it really, it's, it seems very simple to mm. the, the person who needs it. I mean, mm. I'm sure on your end it was complicated to put together, but <laughs> it seems like a very simple solution. Um, I'm not uncomfortable at all. I might look a little silly, but I don't, you know what I mean? I don't feel anything and um, actually do feel like a little more and energized since I started this. I do, I feel like, mm. like you know, feel good. Um, yeah, and you'll feel that, uh, you'll feel that for the next two or three days. Just on Oh that. really, just for yeah. this, really? No, if you did that like every day for 20 minutes uh, with our protocol um, and plus some other interventions, like for example, we've got another device that when you put it on, you learn four times faster. I was going to say four languages. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can actually learn languages. You, you, can, you can learn languages faster. Yes, like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> or, or math. I still have to speak Spanish. <laughs> or, or even math. Math. So, oh my God, Marcello, yeah. get out here. <laughs> so I'll show you. For example, uh, there's something called the DARPA montage, um, and what that is is a placement of electrodes. So this device here, for example, this is a device that is. Uh, TDCS, this is a transcranial direct current stimulation, okay? And depending on where you put these diodes, these electrodes, uh -huh. um, and, and it, okay, so this device has a nine volt battery, mm -hmm. okay? And it's gonna charge electricity, it's gonna send electrical impulses to parts of your brain. And we can use this as a very precise tool for what you're needing. For example, somebody who has ADHD, mm -hmm. right? Well, you put 
this diode here mm -hmm. and another one here, and now it helps you with ADHD. Or, for example, if you want to I just to want to say that you have, you, and in this backpack, you have the cure to really so many things. It's, I mean, it's beyond impressive. This is really, I, I can't even, this is very, really impressive. And it seems ridiculous that we're not implementing this right away. So well, whoever sees this, we got to move this along. This is really something. Um, Green Delgado, Green <laughs> Mechanics, check it out.